In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a test within Blackboard Ultra using the test feature. So to begin, you want to locate where you want the test to be. So I'm going to put it within this folder, and the folder is already open. I'm going to scroll down to below this quiz that I already have here. And as you can see, once I scroll over here, I have a plus sign that appears. I'm going to click the plus sign, and then I'm going to select Create. From the, from the Create Item panel, I'm going to scroll down to Assessments and then select Test. When the new test page appears, I'm going to enter a test name. And now I can begin adding questions. So right here where I see the plus sign again, I'll click the plus sign. And I can see all of the test um, question options. I can even add in text if you want to add some instructions above the questions. You can also add local files as well. But for now, we're going to just look at the test questions. First, we're going to add a multiple choice question. So I'm going to select this. Now here I have my test question box. Once I click in here, I can begin typing the test. And if I wanted to add any additional pictures, things of that nature, um, even add attachments to that, I could do that using any of the functions up here. But for now, we're just going to leave the test question and then add in our answer choices. And now that I have my, my um, option selected, I now need to select which one is correct. And I'll just simply check the box next to the correct one. If I wanted to reorder the questions, I can use the arrow on the right-hand side. The, I'm sorry, the answer choices, I can use the arrow on the right-hand side to move them. And if you needed to delete one, you could use the trash can to get rid of it. And then to add additional ones, I can add an additional choice here by clicking here. And it'll give me another option. But I don't need that one, so I'm going to go ahead and click the trash can to delete that. So I have my question and my answer choices, and then I can adjust the points here. So maybe I don't want this one to be 10 points, we'll just make this one a two point question. Now that I have all of those things set, I'll just click save. And I have my question ready for my students. I can go in and add another one by here again, where I see those little lines, click and add the plus sign. And then we can add in another question type. We'll just do one more, a essay question. Again, I have my text here. I can click into the text box, enter in my text question. Now, essay questions can be used for short answer as well, so I'm going to have that here. Again, I can adjust the points possible. Maybe I want this one to be a 15 point question and then I can click save. So now I have my questions added to the test and then um, once my, I have all my questions added, I'll go in later to add in my test settings, which we will look at in another video.